people, good morning. It is Monday, 30th of July, 2018. We are on our way to the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I have a client who has an elderly father who I guess is having trouble traversing the stairs in the rear of his home and ordered a wrought iron railing from us and we have to go install it today. It's not gonna be a very big job, but I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. How long you guys been here? Uh, oh, we've been here a while and yeah. Uh, all right, so I had to mute the audio from the rest of this video because my customer sat outside watching me install the entire railing, and I did not want to put his voice without his permission onto the internet. Well, first thing you want to do is you want to take your railing and you want to sit it on the stairs and find out exactly where you want the final placement to be. As you can see, the feet to this particular wrought iron railing have little plastic tabs that you fold over the shaft part of the foot and using a mallet, you tap them all the way in. Now, in many cases, you need to cut the railing so that it fits the slope of your particular steps. And I was lucky in this case it didn't have to do that. But if you had to do that, the way you would do it is you would set the railing on the steps and using a level you would either raise the back or raise the front, pulling one of the legs off of the concrete until your railing was plumb. Then you'd measure the distance of that gap and cut it off the opposite leg. In this particular one here, the stairs were just the right height so that I didn't have to cut anything, which really made the installation all that much easier. So as you see here, I'm putting the feet onto this, and then all we have to do is put it back in place. I've marked the ground with a red chalk, so I know exactly where to place the feet and then we will drill the concrete and put our concrete lags in to hold it in place. Okay, so now that the lag bolts are anchored into the concrete, they get covered with decorative caps for a finished look. I've already put the front one on. You see me putting the back one on here. I'm going to clean up and I'm going to show you some before and after pictures. I want to thank you for watching, and if you like videos like this, I invite you to subscribe and hit the little bell, and you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video, which is usually about once a week. Thanks for watching.